Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video, which is like my favorite and everyone's favorite kind of video. And I'm especially excited because this is with my new purse. It's the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote in the color Pinky. It is so cute. I actually have an unboxing video on this bag, which I did about two weeks ago, so I'll link that below. And I know a lot of you were excited to see what's in it, and I feel like I've got a good system down, so I can't wait to show you. Two things though, sorry for the kind of weird angle. I wanted you to be able to see in the bag, not just me taking things out of the bag off camera. So you're way up there, sorry. And second of all, I'm having like a weird allergy, hay fever type thing. So I kind of don't have a voice right now. So sorry about that too. But I just couldn't wait any longer to dig into this bag with you guys. So let's do it. First of all, I have a really depressing update, which is that it's already showing wear. I don't know if you can see the scuffs and then the corners have some darkness. Um, same thing on the back. There's like a pretty bad scuff. Like I've only been using this baby for two weeks. So I'm kind of crushed, but I also knew when I got this color, like it's just not a practical color. I think I should have been babying her more because with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which I also have a what's in my bag on, um, that one just, just does not show damage. It's crazy. Like. I use it every single day for two years and there's no marks in the corner compared to this for like two weeks it's already marked up so the thing is I think I'm gonna be able to clean it like I'm pretty sure if I take a magic eraser to those scuffs they'll come right off I'll keep you posted subscribe if you want to get updates on that um, but I think this is gonna be really easy to clean I've even heard that you can throw a long chomp bag in a pillowcase and then put it in the like laundry machine which I'm totally scared to do, and I don't think that's recommended. But point is, there's lots of ways that you can clean these bags, so I'm hopeful that these scuffs will come off in time. But in the, in the meantime, I still love her so much. It's been the perfect bag to just like throw over my shoulder, throw in the car, and take it wherever I'm going. So I love it, and let's dig in. Okay, on the outside, I have this like kind of adorably ugly poof from Bath and Body Works and it actually has a hand sanitizer in it so it's useful and cute then inside the bag here's what we got it's actually you know those like Thanksgiving joke videos where they cut into the turkey and there's like another bird and they're like it was pregnant <laughs> this is like the purse version of that because there's a baby purse in there if you saw my unboxing then you already know but first of all there's only one pocket in these bags and it's right here. And I have in it my phone, which is the six plus, and it doesn't really fit in the pocket. It kind of hangs out, but it'll still zip. So I just kind of let it hang there. Um, this case is from Amazon, by the way. I can link it and everything else below. Then this pocket is also where all my lip products tend to just collect through the week. Um, I'm not one of those people that lets their purse get really messy, so sorry if that's what you love about what's in my bag videos. What I actually love about what's in my bag videos is seeing like how your si your system, your purse system would be on like an ideal day. <laughs> so I tend to clean out my purse every single day. So like this is my system that I use and it works really well. But first I have the Buxom Pink Lady Lip Gloss. I'm loving Buxom lately. I have Bare Minerals Luxe Matte Lip. I love their matte lipsticks. That's what I'm wearing right now, actually. And then I have a MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the color Cream Cup. It's a really pretty pink. So pretty much every lip product I own is like a variation of the same color. But okay, so now that we're in here, let's jump straight in to the mini bag. The second chicken. <gasps> Surprise, my purse had a baby. <laughs> this is the Longchamp backpack, which I also have an unboxing of. And I am obsessed, obsessed with this backpack. It's crazy how much fits in here. Um, like I almost didn't need the bigger tote, <laughs> but the way I have my system set up is like, if I'm just running in the store, going to dinner or something like that, this is all I need. But for like, if I'm leaving my house for the full day, I bring this, I throw my laptop in here. It's not in there right now, obviously, but I carry like everything. Like this is how I schlep everything around. And then this is like my essentials. So let's start with this. First of all, how cute is this little backpack charm? 
My backpack has a backpack and I love that the backpack has its own little poof on it. <laughs> it's so cute. That is from H&M and it has real pockets. So in the outside I have like a lucky coin. And then, and then inside this little mini backpack I keep what, another hand sanitizer that's vanilla buttercream. And then my ride or die lip balm that I never, like I will have an anxiety attack if this isn't on my person somewhere, it's so good. It's the Bite Agave lip balm. I love it, love it, love it. So those two things are like always with me, always in this little pouch. <laughs> um, also I wanted to point out this one is wearing a lot better, probably because it's usually in here which protects it, but it hasn't shown too much. Actually, it does have some darkness on the back. So that's crazy. I'll definitely be reporting back on how I clean all of that. But anyway, this is my girl. I love it so much. And I could actually fit like twice as much as I do in here, but for trying to keep things relatively light, this is all I have. So in the inside pocket, which again, that's the only pocket right there, I've got my keychain, which is the um, Louis Vuitton key clay. This is the six key holder. This is honestly probably one of my favorite, um, probably one of my favorite designer pieces that I own. It's just so cute. I love that it has the rose interior and I just could never go back to a normal keychain. Like I love that my keys are all separate. So I have my car key, I have a Mustang. I'm lucky, quote unquote, that it's an old enough car that the key actually fits in here. I think most people have to leave their car key hanging out of this thing. Um, I have my apartment key, I have the, like the key fob for my building, I have my gym and my yoga membership swipey thingies. Mailbox key and then a key to my husband's car. And then back here I keep a credit card for emergencies and so if it came down to it, like this is technically all I need to leave my house. So that stays in this front pocket and then also more lip products, of course. <laughs> this is where they always wind up. I have two more Buxom lip glosses. This one is Dolly and this one is Creamsicle. They're so cute. So that goes in there and then I have in the main co compartment, I have a few things. I have a sunglass case. This little case is from H&M and right now I have in it my Le Specs. Prince Aviators, they're in the rose, I think it's, is it called blush? I think it's called blush and gold. And I love these, they're pink, obviously like everything in my life. <laughs> they're so cute. And what else do I have? I have my wallet, which if you've seen my other videos, you know it's the Louis Vuitton Agenda MM, which is the medium size. I love this thing, I'm obsessed with it. I have a whole playlist of videos on it, which I'll link down below but it's just the perfect wallet for me. It's part planner, part wallet. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't leave home without it. I love it so much. So it fits perfectly in this backpack. And then the only other thing in the backpack is my Louis Vuitton pouch. This is what came with my Neverfull. It's, um, oops, that's exciting. And in here are kind of like things I just, I feel like I have to have. I'm a total pack rat, as you can see, but these are the things, like if I'm switching purses, these are the items that I would bring with me. So it kind of makes it easy. I can just throw this pouch into another bag. I could even just use this as my purse, like throw my ID and my cash in here um, and not bring my whole agenda wallet. <laughs> but these are the items like I feel like I have to have. So first of all, tissues. I found these at Target. They're actually cute. Like they have cute typography on them. I always say, some designer could just get rich off of designing cute tissue boxes and tissue pouches. <laughs> then I have a little external phone charger for my phone because it's dying all the time. I've got eye drops for contact lenses because my contacts sometimes can ruin a night, you know, just randomly. I have my lotion that I swear by and will never be without. It's so good. I almost went to put some on, but it's very creamy, so I don't want to get it all over everything in my purse. But it's called Rich Girl. It has SPF in it, so that's so key to keeping your hands looking like healthy and young. I have a giant pouch of my favorite gum, the Trident White Spearmint flavor. The tampon. And then I have my little mirror, which you guys have seen before. It's by Fred and it looks like playing cards. So cute. So like when you check your lipstick, it looks like you're checking your cards. 
has like a little A, like an ace of hearts printed on it. It's just so cute. I get like, a t every time I check my lipstick, I get compliments on that. So I will try to find that and link it below. I've actually given that away in a, in a giveaway I did before. So it's like one of my favorite things. But anyway, that all fits in this pouch. And that is it for this little backpack doohickey. So then, that's what I would take like if I'm just running in somewhere. But then if I'm like parking it at a coffee shop for the day or something, here's all the other stuff I have. Um, I didn't even know these were in here actually. These normally aren't. These are my Givenchy sunglasses. I don't usually bring two pairs of sunglasses. I definitely bring one. But these I love too. These are the flat top. They're just like a good big pair of sunglasses. Normally I would have either these or the Lisfax, not both. But I'm just extra prepared for another sunny day in LA. Okay, then I have my, did I show you already what it's looking like in here? Okay. How great is this white interior, by the way? Like you can see everything. Okay, then I have my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. And I keep just makeup to touch up on the go in here. <clears throat> I don't touch up my makeup on the go, really. <laughs> like. My philosophy with this little pouch is if like worst case scenario, I just finished at the gym and somebody called and like, I'm gonna have a super important lunch. I don't know, whatever weird scenario where I have no makeup on and I have to put makeup on. This is like how I would do that. So I have, I'm not one of those people that puts like their favorite products in their purse. It's more like these are my runner up products that I don't feel the need to have on my vanity. So they kind of get relegated to my purse. So. I have this Laneige BB cushion. It's in the shade light and it's fine. You know, I prefer like my foundation, but if I had nothing on my face and I needed something, that's what I would use. I have this Marc Jacobs pressed powder. It's in, I think it's just a clear powder, yeah. I have this little comb. It says good hair day. So cute from Forever 21. I got this spray with my points at Sephora. It's the Clinique Moisture Spray. And I just like, I love being able to spray my face throughout the day, so that's always a must. And I have Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. This isn't like one of my favorite mascaras, but it was a good travel size. So I threw that in there. I've got Glossier Boy Brow. I know a lot of people love this, but I prefer my um, Benefit brow products usually. So I keep that one in here. And then I've got a Clinique lower lash mascara because I'm just super high maintenance and I need multiple mascaras. <laughs> I have this Stilla blush, which is a cream blush so I can like put it on with my fingers if I need to. Um, this is, what is this? A Tom Ford lipstick in the color 82 Alexander. Yet another one of my usual pinky lipstick colors. <laughs> But I just like that it's a little mini. It's like a perfect size for the purse. I have two perfumes in here. I've got a little um, light blue by Dolce & Gabbana, which has been like a go-to scent for me for years. And I have a replica lipstick on, which is another scent I adore. It's like a perfect powdery feminine kind of smell. Sorry you guys about my voice. I feel like I sound really weird, but maybe to you it might sound normal. <laughs> I don't know. I have an eyelash spoolie, which is kind of left over from when I used to have eyelash extensions. I don't need that as much. I have a hairband, one of those like good ones that doesn't crimp your hair. And I have a Chanel makeup remover wipe that I took from the Chanel counter. So that's everything that stays in my little makeup bag. And like I said, I honestly don't use that very much. Oops. Okay, and then last thing in here is my Louis Vuitton um, case. See, we're totally empty now. It's always such a mess at the end of a what's in my bag video. Okay, so then this case is like all the pack ratty type stuff I want to have with me all the time. But if I'm traveling light, I don't. I just have my backpack. But if I'm not traveling light, then I have all of this. So I've got a hairbrush. This is by the Wet Brush brand. Oh my gosh, things are falling everywhere. Okay, and then I have a little Ziploc thing of teas. I'm kind of like a drug dealer and I need to have different size Ziploc bags. Like I want everything to fit perfectly into a Ziploc bag. 
I'm actually gonna link below the assortment of Ziploc bag sizes I got because how satisfying is it that these tea bags fit perfectly? I don't know. So I like to carry tea bags with me so if I'm out and about I can get a hot cup of water and make some tea. Then I have a Go Macro bar, which is looking a little worse from the wear of being banged around in my purse, but I just want to have like a healthy gluten-free snack with me at all times. I have some headphones. I keep them in their original case. It's just so much tidier. Like they don't get all tangled up. I have this little bag hook. It's got Mickey's hand and it sits on the table and you can hook your purse, which I clearly need to use more since my nice new purse is already all dinged up. This is kind of weird, but I have a straw. Not only do I have a straw, but it has this like a strainer on the end because I refuse to drink the slimy part of my kombucha. <laughs> and so I drink it through a straw with a strainer on it. I just don't want a big chunk of like slime. I don't mind little pieces of slime, but then I have gluten-free soy sauce to go packs. I'm going to link these below because I got them on Amazon. And if you're gluten-free and you love Asian food like me, then you know my pain. It's just not fair that soy sauce has gluten in it. It sucks. And then yet again, I have it in one of my Ziploc bags. I should actually like double bag this because it would just be so incredibly tragic if this burst in my purse. <laughs> But yeah, that would not be good. Then I have another face mist. This one is by Rin, and it is the anti-pollution mist. I live in Los Angeles, like enough said. This is an essential for me. I always spritz my face to protect my face. I have another thing of eye drops. That's excessive. <laughs> I have a Tide stain pin that has apparently been around for a long time based on how rubbed off it is. But those are great for stains on the go. I have a USB drive with my writing company's logo on it. So if I need to give like a client some files or something, I just have this with me, it makes it easy. I have a random little thing of candy. Have you guys ever heard of this? Have you ever seen these candy? I think it's called Howard's. And it's violet candy. It's like little hard candies that taste like violet, like the flower. I don't know, they smell so good. They smell so good. They smell really unique. And you get them at like, you know in New York how there's those um, stands on the sidewalk that sell newspaper and magazines and random stuff? They always sell this candy there and that's what I always think of. And years and years ago when I quit smoking, one of my friends told me like, why don't you become the girl that always has this candy instead of always having cigarettes? <laughs> and that'll be like your thing, the way like cigarettes were once your thing. And I just thought that was such a cool idea. So ever since then I always carried this candy it tastes good it's just like a weird thing that i'm known for and if in theory i were ever craving a cigarette which thank god i'm way past that stage it's been like seven or eight years but um you know you can suck on one of these candies instead and they kind of make everything in my bag smell good they're so nice then i have a thing of floss it's cupcake flavor so cute and then i have two more weird little ziploc bags this one is like a little pharmacy in a bag like, how sketchy am I? I'm so sketchy. If I ever get pulled over and they go through my stuff, they're gonna have problems. But it's nothing bad. It's just, this is cold calm. So if I ever feel a cold coming on, I should probably take some for whatever sore throat thing I have. I have a Band-Aid. I have Ostilicunacunucumum. I never know how to pronounce this. It's another homeopathic remedy for like cold and flu symptoms. I just like to have those with me because sometimes a cold can strike so fast and so hard. I have this little tiny bag of anxiety tablets. These are called Nature's Remedy, I think, and they just really help when I'm stressed out just to kind of chew one of those. Then what else is in here? This is so sketchy, you guys. This is like a mix of Advil and my husband's medication, and there's also some Dramamine because I get motion sickness. And then there's also some birth control in here because if I'm out and about and I realize I forgot to take my pill, I want to have it with me so I can stay on schedule with that. <laughs> then I have my last little Ziploc bag of weirdness. And this one has, these are like little screen wipes to clean your phone. Like I'm kind of paranoid about getting like grimy makeup on my face from my phone and germs and stuff and then like breaking out. So I try to clean my phone a lot. And I have more band-aids, more tampons, and more Advil. I kind of pride myself in being the girl when somebody's like, oh, I have such a headache that I can like whip out my Advil. 
Or, you know, if you're in a public restroom and some poor girl is like, got her period unannounced. I like to be the one that's like, here girl, I can help you out. Don't pay 75 cents for the crappy tampon in the machine on the wall. I'll hook you up. I don't know, that's my philosophy with my purse. In a nutshell, I carry everything. So <laughs> that covers it. And now I'm gonna put it all back. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on this gorgeous long shot bag. I hope my next update will be that all these scuffs came out really easily and it's back to new because I just adore this bag. It's so lightweight, it's so easy to carry around and it's so cute. So thanks so much for watching. I would love it if you'd hit subscribe and stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one and talk to you in the comments down below.